Hello, welcome to Crack a Loop. Thank you for being here. Today we're bringing you a gameplay of The Last Kingdom coming from Gameland Games and a game designer that is very well known in this industry, Mr. John D. Clare. Yeah. And he has done Rolling Heights and he has done Dead Reckoning and Cubitos and so many more games. A pile of games that we, we really have enjoyed and let me tell you this. You should stick around. I, I know this is an IP. It's based off of a, I believe, Netflix TV show. Yep. Uh, we still need to actually dive into the show and then watch through it ourselves. It's on our list for when Shira gets back into uh, Cleveland full time. And this game is doing nothing but increasing my interest uh, in the IP yeah. uh, and in the TV show itself because this is a really good, really interesting drafting and area control point scoring game. Yeah. You want to give an overview of what's happening here? And is there any flavor text? There is flavor text. You can give the overview while I read the flavor text. You want to have me do the overview, overview first? I'll read the flavor text. Set Fervor this up. flavor text first. It's Britain, 1872 to, 8, to 872 to 898. The kingdoms of Britain are at war. Many have already fallen to the invading Danes, leaving the great kingdom of Wessex standing alone and defiant under the command of King Alfred. You are one of the great commanders and politicians in this war-torn land known today as England. Both Saxon and Dane armies openly battle for dominance, and it is up to you to tilt the scales of power. To reclaim these lands, you will need to tread a dangerous path between both sides of the conflict. Will you betray your allies for power? What part will you play in the birth of a new nation? And will you ultimately rule it all? The core concept here is the fact that we as players have roles that have some degree of shifting alliances, and we're going to be trying to score the most victory points by being aligned with the winning faction over the course of 10 total battles, unless some weird ties happen along the way. There's going to be a phase one where every single one of these regions is going to go through a conflict. Depending on the number of troops or support there and whoever is represented there, meaning our leaders or any faction players we have, we'll gain points depending on if we've sided with the faction that actually ends up winning. We're going to have a hand of cards at the top of every phase because it'll go through two full or every two round because it'll go through two full rounds. Uh, we're going to be drafting five cards each. Uh, you do not get more cards. All these battles are going to resolve based off that initial card you have, uh, initial cards you have, and off of the actions that you can take with your little tokens here. We'll be taking actions from our player cards. We'll be taking actions from a grid of uh, variable, variable market actions up top there that will change in price as you take. They'll go from uh, low all the way back up to high, and it can be very hard to take some of those more valuable actions and we'll be uh, maneuvering and positioning ourselves here across the map. It's a pretty straightforward game, but it plays very well. In, in the rulebook itself, it says that yeah. it's like inspired by some things like Blood Rage, for yeah. instance, and I can definitely see the, the framework or the inspiration coming from other uh, drafting area control types of games where you're using cards to manipulate troops, reposition where battles are gonna be happening, and making tactical decisions around what pays off now versus what might pay off if you hold on to it for just a little bit longer. Uh, I think that's a general, like, yeah. that's a very quick overview. You'll be doing a preview on this as well, but I, I think it's time to start. Do you want to set up who you're playing? I can set up who you're playing and you want to deal out some cards. Yeah. So I am playing as Ethelwald. He's a leader. I am Ethelwald, son of King Ethelred and rightful King of Essex. Alfred stole my crown. And so my starting initiative is two. Um, I believe Jesse has the initiative of one, so he'll determine where the first battle is, and I'll determine where the second battle is. And I'm starting in Mirka, Mercia, which is over there, and my starting allegiance is Saxon. And then each player, all the players, I believe there's ten different players, they're all asymmetric with different starting action, different amounts of starting action tokens, and then different starting affinities. Affinities is going to be how you're going to actually score your points based on the winning faction, either the Danes or the Saxon in each battle, and how high your allegiance or affinity is with that faction is how many points you'll get. It's pieces in battle times that number. And then we each have two special, we each have powers and abilities based on our asymmetric factions. We have a primary action on our player, which allows us to move around the board, and it's spending action tokens to move. And then my, my Dean, um, affinity is going to be equal to the lowest Saxon affinity I have. So since I have zero in the North Umbrians, my Dane is at zero now. As soon as I would tick this up, then my Dane will also tick up. Additionally, my permanent ability is if I'm in the conflict region, when it resolves, I gain three action tokens. Yeah, I'm playing uh, Uhtred of Barbanberg. 
Bebenberg? Bebenberg. Uh, Destiny is all... Starting region is going to be Northumbria. Uh, starting allegiance is going to be Dane. Uh, primary action, I can spend two of my little action tokens here to move uh, one region. Then, after I've moved, I may move one additional region. So I can actually do two movement. Uh, permanent, I'm worth two. And in round two, I'm worth three. Yeah. So I'm a little bit of a stronger fighter. Uh, my starting affinity is, of course, going to be with the Danes themselves. And we both actually have special cards. You want to go through what your cards are? Sure. Um, so my character's cards, I have confused orders, which basically means I get to, within three adjacent regions, take one of the soldiers and move it, take another soldier and move it, take another soldier and move it. I'm a little confused at that point. Um, and then I can also play both sides. I can add two Danish armies to a region, and then in an adjacent region, add one of each type of the Saxon armies, and then I may change my alliance. Yeah, so I have change of heart. This makes it so I have to flip my alliance, but I will gain a uh, credit with the Danes when I do that. And I have tactical strike. It's gonna allow me to move one unit into a location, kill two there, and then go ahead and up my allegiance in any one of the other three. Uh, now, we do have abilities across the top here. Let me go ahead and go through what those abilities are while you start looking at your drafted cards. So, the first one here, starting all the way down with that three, that's going to be kill two, uh, kill one in two, two adjacent regions, then get three points. Then we're going to have raise your affinity with one of the four, and you're locked. You cannot change your allegiance after that for the rest of the, yeah. uh, round, for that for the rest battle. Of that battle. Uh, then we have draw two level or three level two cards, put two on the bottom and keep one. We have place down two Danes and go ahead and raise your status with the Danes. We have move two to one location, then move one to another location, uh, which is going to go ahead and I believe give you uh, some influence as well. We have place one, two, and three uh, down in uh, different regions, each different colors and then go ahead and raise your affinity as well. And then we have flip your affinity or flip your relationship, who you're voting on, and uh, go ahead and lose an additional uh, action if possible. Action token. I have chosen my first card. Uh, so these cards, uh, sure, do you want to talk about multiplayer versus two player while I, while I take a look at mine? So all the market actions are on the two player variant side. They're, they would all flip and have slightly different actions in three or four or five players. Um, additionally, we are going to be drafting back and forth, and so uh, we kind of know what other cards the other player is going to have. These two tokens are at play. There are special rewards if you win or lose a battle and you're the only one representing your allegiance in that battle and you get a little bit of an extra bonus, but the momentum is going to act as if it's another player for the next battle so that it kind of takes that edge away. And this is the lock token that Jesse was saying that would lock your allegiance. So Sheer is under the impression that this plays best at higher player counts. I, I want to, yes. I am under the impression that it plays really, really well at two. You're enjoying it at two. I, I like the drafting. All the cards feel highly consequential, and I actually like the head-to-head -head sort of asymmetric strategy of it, because there's no dice rolling, there's no randomness, there's no luck. It's just a matter of taking and positioning and having the right stuff, uh, which is which is a mechanic that I really like. Shira is concerned that she is going to lose I am uh, this game on camera, and she doesn't like losing games. Not a, not a big fan. Trying a different... She plays games to play games. Yes. And does not like losing them in the process. Yeah, I knew you would take that card. I thought that was a pretty good card to, to have. Oh, now we're not we're not we going to get, get the last to one. The last one. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So we should have a hand of six cards, um, including our two player. Including cards. our two player cards. Um. Now I get to go ahead and establish where we are going to be fighting first. That's part of setup, technically. So, what battle? am I invested in immediately off the top. This one's very interesting to me. Yeah. Just because there's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of Danes there immediately. But I would have to move to get down there. The board gets slightly randomized with every game because of the two question marks. You put yeah. eight cubes in a bag and draft them out, so you never know kind of what you're getting. We're doing uh, our first battle. I think I'm going to go up to Northumbria. I don't want to have to spend actions to move. I want to I stick down there if, if I can. Really? What are you thinking? Um, You're setting the second battle I'm that will happen yeah. in the game. Yeah. Problem is, I have, my moving, my movement is harder for me. 
Yeah, but you get you get resource back a lot easier than I do. I know. All right, we're gonna do Mer Mercia, and then um, mine at the start of each round. So there's two rounds. My allegiance must be set to Saxon, and I get one Saxon affinity of any choice. And so I am going to tick this up, which will tick up my Danes one. And then additionally, if you have any immediately play yep. instant action cards, which I have two. I have two as well. So go ahead and uh, place them out here. Uh, those are off camera, yep. Uh, so I'm going to get a orange and a blue, a Dane and a uh, West mm -hmm. Saxons. And I'm going to go ahead and gain a little energy token. And then I gain... Ooh, is this the first card you kept? Yes. Nice. I gain one action token. Um, I can technically do it in whichever order I want. So gain one affinity with the action you have the least affinity affinity with in case of a tie, choose one. So I can choose any. So you're going to start it off as a tie. Yeah, so I'm going to start it off as a tie, which means I get to choose any of them. So you could go up white twice if you wanted. I could, but once you get into this region, they're all two. Sure. So I am going to go up one in blue and one in white for this one. And then I get two action tokens as well. Okay. Now we start the part of the game where there's going to be five battles and all we have are our action tokens, strategic movement, and the cards in our hand to try to close this gap. Uh, this is where the game starts getting a little bit tighter and a little bit more brutal. Now, you can pass, yeah. but if you pass and the other player doesn't go, you... Then that'll trigger that battle. Your turn is over. You could always jump back in, though, if they decide to play. So you're having a little bit of bluffing there. If you pass, however, and take the Prepare for Invasion token, you then get some extra actions, depending on how many battles are out there, and you get to decide where the next battle happens. However, you cannot jump back into the round. Uh, Shira says, first. I'm first. Yep. I don't know if I like that. I'm okay with that. I don't know that I want to be first. Okay, let's try this out. I'm going to be moving one token and replacing it with two tokens. So one token's going in here, two tokens are coming out here. In our current battle, I'm worth two, three, four, five, six total, because the four cubes yep. and me, and There's there are none, now. there are no enemies now. Okay. Um, for my first action... Oh, I and I get a little worm, please. You do. Um... Uh, technically, you can keep those behind your screen. Your screen can be used for guarding your action tokens and your points. I'm going to spend three and make the right choice. Um, Bring that down here. Show what it does. I'm going to make the right choice, which means I it's actually a passive action, which means I'm going to go up one of the affinities. I'm going to go up green, which means automatically my Dane will nice. go up one. And I am locking my affinity onto that side. So you're not going to be able to switch to the Danes this turn. And nope. everything shifts back down. Uh, but then, that was <coughs> a passive action. I am going to spend two more to move up in here. So you are coming there. You just want to be part of the battle, though. Because you get kickbacks. If I'm in the conflict region, when it resolves, I gain three yeah. actions. You get, you get benefits in the battle. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to do a long march card here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and two. push two cubes, two regions. So I think we're going to go... Yeah, we'll bring these in. Uh, and then I gain another uh, Viking bracelet there. And using all your cards. I, uh, I do not have many cards left. So now it's actually up two because I count as one yep. for the Saxons, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I believe I'm going passing to pass and taking. I'm taking this. No, you don't get any kickback at the yeah, moment. I don't get any kickback, but I do get to determine where the next battle will be. I will pass as well. Okay. Which I will means pass. Wait. Uh, do I? I don't know that I want to do that, actually, because this is my one chance to score as many points as possible. It would cost me four to double down. Uh, oh, but that would... Doesn't matter. That wouldn't be good. What, what's going to let me go up with the... Uh, the one that I used, make the right choice, which is six. That is expensive. What's the difference there? Two to three points. It's a difference of five points, though. 
I don't know that I have that kind of money. Shira. Yes. How about you not have bought that one? No, but it helped me because now mine are all in the two region. I understand. I think that I I think this is a horrible play, and yet You're at the same time. Six? You have six action tokens? I'm spending six action tokens. Oh my God. Taking that back one, pushing myself up by one. Okay. I've gotta I've gotta come I've gotta I've gotta win with the Danes here. I've got I've got no option. This is my one big battle. Now do you pass? Now I pass. Okay. All right, so Danes win the battle. The momentum, you don't get the bonus for winning the battle because the momentum was on the Danish. Oh, I don't even get the bonus? No, you don't get the five Oh, bonus. come on. It's on. You flipped it before. We flipped it for the first battle. <sighs> so, um, winning a battle, you get to count five, you, if you had any heroes in the battle, which we are called leaders throughout the deck, there might be opportunity to bring out more um, miniatures and they'll be heroes and so you could count your heroes that you control otherwise you get to count five of these cubes so you're going to count all five danish five times three five times three points is 15 points it's a great start it's a good number of points it is a good number of points might be all the points i get but it's a good number of points the momentum is still going to stay on the danish because they the danes because they won i am in the battle so i lost but i do get three i get three for being in the battle when it is resolved Additionally, I lost the battle, which means I get two, and because I'm the lone man standing there, I get another two. Yeah. Um, which is huge. And then you have to decrease the soldiers, so we will take one Dane off. The location will live at five, so if you have more than five, you decrease based off the highest. Yep. Um, and then the next battle is going to be in Mirko. Because I had prepared for the invasion, I get to decide where the next battle is going to be. I'm going to do East Angela. Okay. All right. And you passed last. Yeah, so you're top of the round. Yep. So, what would I like to do? I really want stuff. You hear that? What I are you want thinking? Stuff. Um, I'm going to spend three and do this. Destiny is all, which is a passive action. Nice. But means I can. Oops. Destiny is all, which means I get to look at three cards from the round two deck and keep one and put the other two at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. That's insane. There's that. Right. <sighs> Put that away. Some of these can be very powerful. It's an immediate action. Um, it's a secondary action. Oh, it's passive. I actually don't have to play it right away. Okay. Um, but that the action is uh, just a passive action up there, so I still get to do another action. I'm going to spend two and move in here. Your turn. Okay. Oh, I'm not locked anymore. Oh, and in the battle currently, it is one, two, three, four, five, six for the Danes, and none for, I mean, six for Saxon. So I'm playing uh, my tactical strike, move a cube, engage in a battle by killing two cubes, and then up your affinity. So, need to sneeze. No sneezing. Uh, Who was moving where? I'm gonna have this one move in here. No. I'm gonna have this one move in here. We're gonna kill two green. And I'm gonna up my green. Up your green? Uh, or does it make more sense to. It makes more sense to up my white, doesn't it? If you, yeah. If you're gonna be switching your allegiance and joining that fight. Okay. Um, you did that. I was kind of waiting to see what you were going to do. Um, I, oh. yes, don't know what I want to do. Mm, I know what I'm going to do. All right. I'm playing my confused orders. I'm moving white in here, moving green in here, moving orange in there. <laughs> Interesting. Your turn.
The issue is... Okay, I'm going to spend two... two oh, and more. then, oh, wait. Move one army, and then I get uh, an affinity. I forgot. Um, and so I'm taking a white affinity. Spending two to move here to East Angle. East Anglia. Okay. I am going to play this card down. Holy cow! Passive. Shira. That was from the. That was my fun card. Um, so I'm gonna get four action tokens. It does not end a player's turn. That is way too turn. much. Um, and then I am going to spend one, two, three, four, five. And do make the right choice. Can you move that to the six area? Wow. One, two, three, four, five. And increase this up. Our strategy this game is we're both trying different things. Your turn. I'm passing and taking the boat. Okay, so you get one action token. Yep. You have a bunch over there. Um, which means you're not going to be doing any other actions this round. So I don't feel the need to do anything more. I'm passing. Battle time. So this battle is here. The momentum is here. So I get the lone man. So it's five cubes, five, um, and my affinity is 15. Oh, you made it up there? Yep. Darn and it. then I, because I'm the lone man in here, I would get, I get another five points for that battle. And then if I'm in the conflict region, when it resolves, I get three action cubes. Um, one, two, three. There's only five in here, so we don't decrease the amount of soldiers. This will go here, and you get to choose where this goes now. Yeah. And then it'll be your turn because I passed last. And you count as two, and then there's five, so that's seven up here. I don't necessarily care where this goes. <laughs> All right, uh, you passed last, so yep. top of the round with me. Man, I'm going to pass and take this. Oh, we have to put a peace token so you get two. Yep, I did. You took two? Yep. Really? You prepared for invasion right away, which means you have that and you took two because of two action tokens because of the two <sighs> peace tokens. You're not doing anything. You're the just hard part with this game is hunkering down in you, battle over there. You have more flexibility to go places than me. Yeah. I can theoretically score better than you except for this situation where I didn't at all. Yeah. Oh, this momentum flips now to that side. Good. Good? For me it's good. Um Interesting. All right, so we are going to do this, playing both sides. We are going to grab two cubes and then one of each. One, two, three. We're going to add two Dan armies to a region. We're going to add them to this region. And then we're going to add one of these in an adjacent region over here. And then and I may change your allegiance. my allegiance. Okay. I'm still past. Oh, you're still past. That is right. Um, I basically am trying to take away the loan thing that you get. So I am going to grab, spend two action tokens to move in here so I can be I want to be where the people are um and then is there any other thing I want to do oh this is fun this is fun you're, you're doubling down I'm doubling down you gonna explain what that is yeah so <coughs> I am Dane um can you hand me another one of those I am spending three action tokens to do I am Dane, add two Danish armies to that region. Um, and then your strength is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this goes up to twelve. And then I'm doubling down on this, which means if Danes win the battle in that region, he won't score anything. No, I will score. Nope. I won't get the extra. You won't score. I won't score at all. You won't score at all. Now take that to the what end. What do you mean I won't score at all? I thought it was just the bonus you, you were stealing at the from end? me. Nope. Come on. This is not how, this is not going well. All right. Um, I believe that's it. 
Now I'm passing, so it is battle time. Read that, read that <laughs> rule. This is not going well at all. Oh, oh man, where did I miscalculate so categorically? Down. You must be aligned to the faction on the plaque. Take the extra allegiance marker, place it on top of your own. The other player cannot now double down, yeah. nor can you change your allegiance from the remainder of the current conflict. When the conflict is resolved, if both you and your opponent share the same allegiance, oh my gosh. and your faction wins, only you score victory points. That is horrible. The other player has lost the conflict, and they receive two action tokens. That is so Neither horrible. Neither you or your opponent receive the on-your-own bonus, however. That is the, the worst thing that could have happened to me. So, here you go. Because I was entirely banking on this. Here's two. Yeah, thank you. Um, action tokens. That's really bad. Five times my thing is up in here at two uh -huh. is ten points. Amazing. Good for you. <laughs> You're so sultry. Oh, I'm not happy about um, this. Are you forgetting something? I'm in the conflict region when it resolves, so I gain three. See, that is so powerful. You get to move two squares across the board. You can make me spend mine. You forgetting something? This changes to this. Yeah. This moves in here. You took this. Prepare for invasion. There's only one spot left. Yes, um, and then the peace token oh moves over here. Gosh. This comes down to five. All right. Um, I passed last. Your turn. That's really an issue, Shira. Is it? Yeah, that's, re that's really bad for me. Okay. I'm okay with that though. I'm gonna play this. Uh, flipping yeah, sides. This goes away. And give me one more allegiance with the Danes. Um, up here? Yeah. Okay. If you get, by the way, if you ever get to the top of the track and you would keep going up, you just get six points each time. I should um, do that. Might be the only way I'm gonna win. You've done that. I am. Going. I don't know where I miscalculated two. this. I misplayed something drastically. <laughs> yeah. So did I, though. Um. All right. I am doing this, adding a blue and two green. Two green can go. In here, the blue will go in there, and then I gain an action token. Your turn. Spend two to move. Yep. <sighs> oh, my allegiance is different. You moved also my character, I believe. I'm at the wall. I my... gotcha. It's your turn. I know. I'm stuck. I am going to do this quick march, move one army from an adjacent region, then move one, and then get an action token. Action token. I am going to move one to one and one to one. We are going to move <coughs> one to one, one to one. All right. Your turn. Um. Is there anything else I would like to do? What costs three? Double murder plus points. Don't mind that. I think that might be the best option for me. Unless I want to move to the other, but that's not going to help me because it's all green over there. We're going to do double murder plus three points, please. Thank you very much. And Where are you double, arm, double murdering? Still deciding. Here you go. You like... You're personally invested in white. Let's murder here and murder. Oh, they gotta be adjacent to each other. So murder there, murder there. Does that help you, hurt you? Let's take some white off the board. Okay. Oh, we should have reset this points for the battle region. I cannot believe one, you two, stole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, there's no Dane, so it only really matters if there's conflict in there. Um. All right, I pass. Okay. Resolving the conflict, uh, we both, well, no, I score this place, you, you do not. Score. I I'm the lost. lone person standing for this victory. Yep, so you get an additional five points. Five points plus value of two on five, so 15 points, please. Two times five is 10. I am glad that worked out that way. I lost the battle, <clears throat> not lone man standing. I get two action tokens plus three for being there. 
All right. And then a peace token in here, you switch the momentum, and that's going to be at three. Um, I passed last, it's your turn. Um, I should spend if I can, because we'll reset back up at the end of this. Hmm. Being in this next region doesn't really help me. Unless I can score for it, which, the moment I can't. The eye symbol there, is that draw a card? It's a look at a card from my hand. Oh, yeah, hand. I remember that. Never been very interested in that one. Yeah, because in two players, I find we, I've known, I know like three out of the four cards you have from drafting. So I'm going to spend two to move. Okay. I'm actually going to move right here. Okay. I'm going to spend two to move up here. Okay, passing. You're passing and taking that? Yep. So you take four? Doesn't matter. I mean, technically, I mean... It does. You keep them from round to round and you would draw up to your maximum. Um, That's true. I will have moved there then. Okay. Wait, but I won't... Unless I'm the other faction, I'm not going to get... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win and not win anything. So, I'll stay there. Final decision? Yeah, the, the problem is, is like, I would like more tokens. Mm-hmm. Is that your final decision? I, I'm staying there and keeping my tokens. None of it matters. Moving doesn't matter. Doesn't do anything for me. Are you not... You didn't move. Are you still passing and taking the prepare for yes, innovation token? Yes, Okay. I'm spending four tokens. Can I please have three cards from the round two deck? Really? Again? Yes. It's a passive action. One, two, three. Um... Add that to that, okay. Ooh, interesting. All right, put this back. Um, you've already passed out, you're done for the game. I am mm -hmm. playing this. Move up to three Dane armies from one region to any other region. And then remove three, remove one from that region. Cool. Um, this goes in my pile. And then I'm spending my move there. last two actions. And the Danes are going to win. To move in here. That's frustrating. And I am still aligned with the Danes. Her action economy um, is massive. So the Danes, this was at two. This is at one, two, three, four. I'm passing over. So for being in the battle, I get three of these. I also win and I'm a lone man standing. So it's two times, two times three is six plus five is 11. This should have reset back down. Yes. Um, and then this would go on the board technically, but now we reset for the next round. Technically, I should not have shuffled these. Because you'd put a few on the bottom. I put a few on the bottom. Phase three, clean up for round one. Um, everyone gets up to their starting action tokens. So take up to five. If you don't already have if that. If you already have them, discard all round cards that you haven't played. You would get an action token for each one. Take back your person's cards from the deck. You always get to keep your person's. Um, can you put these in the round in the discard this is discarded for round two cards i had taken um take your two leader cards remove all peace tokens from the board one two three four five um give the conflict token to the player who last had the invasion so you get this i get this oh and then throw cards on the ground. Yeah, throw cards on the ground. That's always great. And then mine is at the start of each round. My allegiance must be set to Saxon, so mine flips. Cool. Set this to Saxon. I get to choose where our combat's happening. Um, I was in here. You get to choose where the first combat is happening, and I get a Saxon allegiance of any kind. And I think I'm gonna say right down next to me here. 
Come join me, Shira. You're annoying. Move your way down. You're very annoying. You get all those free tokens. Um, these, you already drafted your first one. Dane's won the last battle, correct? Yep. And then these go down here, except now you are worth three points, and that's five, so eight points. All right. That's where the battle is. Oh, I get to set where the next battle is going to be. And I am going to set it here. Okay. All right. Take a look at your cards. I'm ready to yeah. go. Oh, stop it. Ready to win. Somehow, some way. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Um. Ready? Ready. Okay. What did you have in here? Lots of cool stuff. Huh, fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. Interesting. I like this. That would be helpful. Let's do that. You've got a very nice hand of cards. I Much know. more interesting than mine. I know. Um, I think that's nice to have, because I don't have a lot of those. Uh, I think that's very nice. This one's discarded. Ready to go. That one's discarded. All right. Do you have immediate effects? I do have immediate effects. I kept this one. Plus two action tokens and two in green, please. Okay. Plus four action tokens. Wow. One, two, three, four. Whoa, your first three, one? Four. Empathy for all? Yes. Um, and so I get to go up two on my least, which is this. Um, one, two, which means this is also going to go up to match my least yep. amount. I took the those tokens from that, and so this gets discarded. The Valhalla is fun whenever one or more armies of any kind are removed for any reason, I get an action token. All right. Okay. Oh, starts off with me. <coughs> is there anything that I desperately want to do considering already going to be scoring the same for this whole region. <laughs> Pass. I'm going to determine the next location. Wow. Got I've got to I've got to make some big moves this time or else. Or else. Um Is it worth it? To mm -hmm. chase down there? Yeah, one, two, three, four. That's how much it would cost me to get down there. <sighs> and you got to go back. Yeah. I don't think it's worth me going down there just for three. Um, you're winning, though. Let's see if you want blue. Let's see if there's stuff I can do to make you not as happy, though. Um, I've already passed the whole game, Jace. I know. Feel free to talk through everything. Thank you. Um, I'm going to pillage. I'm going to remove one West Saxon, one Merkin, and one North Umbrian from three separate regions. One, two, three. Okay. Um, because I removed armies, I get an action token. Um, we'll keep my Valhalla separate. Then I. All right, I need you to get as least amount of points down there. I would prefer as me, like the most amount of One, points. Two, so if we could three. compromise somewhere in the middle. So of I'm the spending points. four action tokens. Holy cow, sure. And I'm making the right choice again, and it's a passive action. Um, I'm taking this up here, which means this automatically comes up Holy there. Holy cow. And I'm locking myself in at my current um, allegiance. I sneezed. And now I'm passing. Okay, uh, so this is going to resolve. Yep. Uh, it's going to get me 
Eight points and five. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm trying to get you ten because each one of these. Oh, you're at two for yeah. all of them. Sorry. Two, four, six, eight. Um, plus five is thirteen. Yep. And then that flips over. One, two, three. Um, and then a peace token in here. So you cost me, you cost me a few points there. I don't get to get anything. You get to determine what the next battle is going to be. This is going to be set to three. You know, I like the and one. The idea of the next battle will be somewhere, somewhere up there. Okay. Top of the round. Um, uh, you pass last. last. Yep. So I need to get over to you, but if I do that, I also. Huh. And you, you're no longer locked, by the way. I am no longer locked. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, that's, that's the time it is. The question is, how do I... It's so expensive. Everything's so expensive. Yeah. I'm going to spend two to move up to this region. Cool. I... I am going to... I don't think now is the right time to play this card. It would be really helpful, but... It is not the right time to play it. I am going to, oh, interesting. Um, any of those remove people from the board? They don't, they cost too much. What are you trying to do? Hang out. Hang out? Mostly. How many action, I wanna know how many action tokens you have. You're gonna cost me my victory. I hope so. I would love to cost Shira her victory. That would be very nice. Unless I do something about it. What are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? It's so annoying! Ah. Uh, what are you thinking about doing? All right, I'm doing it anyways. Okay. Spending one, two, three, four, and giving up one to see is to be wise. Holy cow. And changing my affinity to this. And this is me. Your turn. Okay. So now you're banking on red winning there. Which would be you're interesting. worth three. One, two, three, and then there's one. That's one, two, three, four. It's actually tied right now. So I'm going to play Maneuver. Mm -hmm. Pulling white in, pulling two red out. Okay. <laughs> Don't like how the battle <laughs> switches. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Um, all right. We're playing confused orders. We're just gonna go around one, two, three, and then I get to go up in an affinity and green. That's it. That's it. I mean, right now, I believe I'm winning. It's five to three, I think. That's round two. You're worth three points. I'm worth three. Yep, and it, I'm only worth one, so. No, still five, though. Three, four, five, yep. I want more cubes in there, though. It's kind of the problem. Uh, is it possible to get more cubes in? Move two, move one. Move two, move one. Can you get one more cube in there? Or do I just not worry about this as much? Focus on what I can do later, maybe? If I pass, 
I'll pass. Get one. Pass. That's it. Okay, resolving my favor? It <laughs> resolves in your favor. You do not get the Lone Man bonus. I don't. Because it's still on this side. Um, it's one green, two points, and one white, two points. Yep, just so four points. Four points. Do you want to give me a one back? So five. Um, I'm in the battle region. I am one man standing, and I lost. So I get four, seven, action. Two, you three. don't get points for lone man standing, though. No, you get two action tokens. Yeah. So it's one, two for losing the battle, one, yeah. two for being lone man standing, and three for being in a region where the battle's occurring. And I pass last. Where is the battle occurring? I think down here. Yep, I figured as much. <laughs> You're playing to your strengths. I gotta chase you around the map a little bit. Yep. I'm like a, I'm like a, you know, rebel, uh, like trench war, not trench warfare, like popping up. Uh... It's your turn. Okay, and uh, it's your turn. Yeah, I passed first. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, naturally, I've got to get up there. That's the first part of this conversation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play Change of Heart. Okay. Half to flip, and I'm gonna gain one. Okay. Okay, what are you thinking? I am spending two and moving in here. Um, you are now on this side. Yep. And I'm moving in here. Okay, my turn. Yep. Spending four to double down. Same trick you played on me. Add two to the region. Two, two, is it any region? Yeah, it's any region. Mm -hmm. Where do I want two? Where do I want two? Um, it's two down here, okay? Mm. No use moving up there. Yeah, there is. Being in a battle is still helpful. I get action tokens. That's true. Only uh, if you switch allegiances, though. No, I would still lose the battle. You still, I would still get two. Oh, okay. Because you lose. Yeah. Because I've doubled down. Because you've doubled down. Um, do this. Add two Dane armies to a region. And then add one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, in an adjacent region. And then I may change my allegiance. Okay. Your turn. You think you're gonna try to pull a uh, non-Dane victory up there? We'll see. It'd be very aggressive, Shira. Especially considering since I'm paying two to move my own butt up there. Mm hmm. Um. I. I need stuff to do. Add that to a region. Um. I'm spending two to move up in here. Spending this card. Orange down, orange down, three dead. How do you feel about that? Good. I got an action token. Not any time you remove any soldiers for any reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, I am passing, taking the ship, which means I get two more action tokens. I will pass. Okay. All right, battle occurs up there. You're worth three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is worth two. You win your one, two, three, four, five times three is 15 points. Plus five. Plus the five bonus is 20 points. 
I lose the battle. I don't get the bonus, but I do get three for being in there. One, two, three, and two for losing the battle. This goes over here. This is going in here. And a peace token is up here. Um, I actually passed first. You passed second. So it is my turn. I am going to play this. Add, can I have two Dane armies, please, to a region with at least two Dane armies and then remove from that region. I'm going to add two in here. Remove one, which gives me another action token. Um, and then a turn, until the current conflict resolves, each time an opponent performs a primary action, I gain a point. Your turn. Hmm. Um, in the battle, by the way, there's one, two, three, four, five. And zero. I will move. Okay. Gain a point. <coughs> Bless you. Your turn. I am going to. You're no longer doubled down. Um. Yeah, six to spend on a double down. I I can't double down. I'm on this side. Oh. I'm spending two. I'm moving down here. I will pass and take this for three. Don't want to give you any of those points. Spending two. Moving in here. Okay. Um, spending five. For what? Mm, wait, not yet. Oh, to switch your allegiance? Yeah. Uh, I'm not spending it yet, though. I am going to spend four. One, two, three, four. On No Mercy. Two, three, four. Grab it. Remove two. I get three points. Sure. One, two, three. Removing any cubes gets me an action token. Um... And I will remove one, two, three. It's oh, it's one from it's two from adjacent areas. I will remove one, one. One, you should be gone. Why? Oh, from the battle there. Yep. Yeah. Um, and now I'll spend five. One, two, three, four, five, and change my allegiance. Um. Can you? F I don't have another one to discard. That was why I was spending my other actions first. Um, I am now on this side. So you're just both going to score this? Yeah. Both going to score this. Flip this. Your three, five, eight, nine is this. And now I pass. Okay. Please hand me 15 points. I also got 15 points. And I get three action tokens. Here's 15 for you, 15 for me. One, two, three. Um, you took that, which doesn't matter. This is where the last battle is. Next conflict. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna pay to move. Here. Your turn. Mm-hmm. I am paying to move. I'm playing a card called Not Over Yet. And I'm removing a flag from this region. Interesting. I don't, I don't know that it is actually because we're just tying at the moment. 8, 9, 10, 11 right now. It's 11 strength. Um, we had a battle in there, though. Yeah. This one is in here. Um, and there's five tokens. Interesting. It could be very interesting, but again, right now we're at the point where we're both supporting the same team, but we're just tying. Passing and taking this, which means I get three action tokens. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, this will be up here, because there's no other place for a battle. Yeah. That is interesting, though. I think extending the turn might help you more than it helps me. 
Because you just get all your action tokens. What do you mean action tokens? I take that back. I'm not doing. <laughs> I'm not doing that. You just get so many action tokens. I'll let you still have the flag. I'll let you still have no, that. No, I don't want the flag. Giving back my three. Because this back here. Because extending this just is going to give you an opportunity to double down, and steal points from me. Maybe. That's all it'll do. I think I've <laughs> won without doing that extended thing. Okay, I'm done. You're done. Yep. Yeah. You done? I'm done. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's nothing more to do. All right, so we each get 15 points again. Yeah. 15. And we get Tally up. Technically two come off. Um. Ninety-nine. No, a hundred. There's five singles over here. One hundred. One hundred to seventy-five. That the last phase of this game changed it. Yeah. Because I feel like I misplayed the first phase of the game. You still won. You're like, and now this is how I could have won better. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's the goal. No. Um, I. It's a hard. It's hard for me to keep up with the Danes. Um. I think the Danes are a little bit stronger. Inherently. I disagree. And I disagree. Two, your ability, in your two ability players, to in float two around the board, representing the Saxons in a two-player game, yeah. I feel like is harder. I feel like we trade factions, we and trade then factions I'll, and I'll show you. Game. I'll okay. show you who knows how to play the game best. Okay, man. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the last for being here. kingdom, and this is a gameplay. Check out for the preview. Look out for it. It is launching very soon. Okay. Whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time.